Uh, good morning. Good morning, my people. I just took a bit of fuel and we are heading over to Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, because I got a veterinarian appointment for Felix. I found um, a place where we can do the, uh, the blood test and the x-ray. So we are going to do both of those things and hopefully they will be able to help Felix out. At least somehow, I don't know. So wish us both luck. I will try to record as much as I can while I'm there, but I'm not sure if they will allow it. I will ask for sure, but I cannot promise. If they allow me to record, of course, I will share you in this video. Also, since we got the appointment early in the morning, uh, and I'm like hour and a half drive from the capital, I had to wake up early while, while in the same time, Erika was really active during the night so I didn't really get any sleep at all so I'm kind of tired yeah parenting it is not easy when kids are so young so young it's a struggle bad news guys it appears that I cannot be with Felix during the checkup because of the COVID measures and stuff so I need to wait outside I filled the form with all the information and yeah I just wait now quick report from the car because outside is so cold here is Felix you see he is all right here I have his blood sample you see I need to take it to other building for testing and I also need to take him in the third building for the x-ray so that's why i have him in the box styrofoam box uh, yeah continue wishing us luck okay we are back in the dark then i have my boy felix right here i have the results from the blood tests right here and also i have the mm, instructions on how to potentially help him because his situation is not really that good and there is no there is no simple solution to his problem but the main problem that he got is kidneys his kidneys are really really bad and on top of that his liver is also not in the best shape so the veterinarian thinks she thinks that the reason why he cannot hold on with his back legs even though his back legs work completely fine she said that she can feel the pressure from his legs that he is holding on really well but the reason why he is slowly releasing the pressure and slowly but surely dropping from the spot where he is holding on is most likely his kidneys are swollen and potentially pressing the spine nerve so he's probably in the pain in the back area and that is the reason why he cannot really hold the position of his back part of the body that is most likely the case uh, his blood let me show you the results this is his phosphor level you see and this is his calcium level and they are more or less fine calcium is a bit too high you see this is the normal range so calcium is a bit high but the ratio in between those two elements is fine it is approximately two to one which is an ideal case for the reptiles in general i think and judging by that she is certain that my supplementation is all right also we took an x-ray i will show you the pictures so um, you can see them they are actually kind of cool um, she said that his bones are dense enough which means that he's not pulling calcium from the bones which is often the sign of the mbd and there is no sign of any fractures which means that he didn't fall and hurt himself that way so that is that was also out of the out of the consideration but she noticed a couple of uh, fractures that that healed a long 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 time ago when, she, when he was young which corresponds with the fact that he stung all the way from the time when I got him was already not working, indicating that he had a case of MBD from very, very young age before I even got him. And these results, the fact that his kidneys are in a really bad shape is most likely the result of that. And on top of that, he is most likely not drinking enough, which I can also confirm because I rarely, I super rarely spot him going out and drink from the droplets on the leaves after the misting system and you know lately I installed the dripping system that slowly drips water uh, periodically but also I never really witnessed him going out there and drink from leaves and that definitely didn't help 
with the situation. Let me show you how she knows that it is the case with, uh, with the kidneys. You see this value, this is the problematic value, I mean super problematic value, because I think that it is called the urinal acid or something like that, and normal value is between 180 and 325, while he got 1190, almost 1000 more than he should have. So that indicates that his kidneys are in really, really bad shape. And these two values apparently show that his liver is also not the best. So the question is, what can we do now? What can I do now with this situation to help Felix with his current state? Veterinarian said that there is most likely no cure for his situation. There is a chance that he got the... I don't know the English terminology, but... This is the antibiotic. There is a chance that this will help with his kidneys, but she is almost certain that it won't help and that the situation with his kidneys is chronical. Regardless, she gave me the antibiotic to give him because it cannot harm him and maybe it helps a bit. The other two things that he, she gave me, I also don't know, I have no idea how they are called. I only have the schedule of how often and how much I need to give him. And these two things will should help him with his kidney situation. They will not cure the situation, but they should make his life a bit easier with that. And hopefully, if I try to be more persistent with water, if I try to give him water every day uh, by my hand to make sure that he drank every day, maybe that will also help. I don't know. You see what he's doing now. He basically released his leg, and now he's actually holding. <laughs> but he released both of his legs and was just waving them around. You see, he just releases the grip like that. So sad, so sad, Felix. My body, my little body. And that is basically all. Even though there is no certain way to help him, I kind of feel better now knowing that I didn't fail him. That, according to the veterinarian that checked him, she said that he wouldn't be alive this long if my care wasn't all right. If you consider that he had MBD from the very beginning, if his tongue didn't work as it should, if he had those fractures from, from when he was super young, he definitely wouldn't live for four years. And that makes this situation a bit more easier. Kind of. Not too much, but a bit more easier. Now I'm going to give him medication. And we will see how easy, or should I say, how hard that will be. Because I need to give him 0.5 millimeters of this every day, 0.015 milliliters of this uh, every day, and 0.04 milliliters of this uh, every second or every third day. And I should be giving this the antibiotic for 15 days, and I should be giving this until I use it all, so I guess it will last a bit. So let's start with, with this, yeah, I guess. Mm. This should be about it, you see, 0 0.5. I'm not sure if I can just pull everything in a single uh, syringe. Ah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. Felix, will I be able to have your complete cooperation with that? I highly doubt that. <laughs> I will most likely need to force him to open his... Yeah. Felix, can you open your... Oh, this will be hard. Felix, how can I open your... Your mouth, huh? Felix, Felix, blip, 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 blip. <laughs> this will be way harder. Maybe I should trick him. I will take a roach and then when he opens his mouth in order to catch a roach, I will just use the syringe. Uh, stay there for a second. <laughs> I got one dubia. Felix, is there a chance to do this? Look. Okay. Ah. <laughs> got him. Okay, that's one. Will this work every day? I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if this will work for the second time. <laughs> Look how little of antibiotic I should give. Super small amount, right? Felix, are you ready for round two? Do -do 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 -do. There we go. It seems like this will work. And this... 
Okay, Felix, one last time. I hope you are not a quick learner. Okay, you can grab it now, Felix. I think he doesn't like the taste. Felix, I will give you now roach for sure. <laughs> Maybe the best and the easiest method of doing this should be to get the drops on the actual roach and just give him the roach with the drops. Yeah, I think that I will do it like that tomorrow. Not for this because I need to give it a lot, but the antibiotic and the other thing can definitely go in like that. Yeah, it happened once again. Camera stopped recording. It records for 30 minutes, so I usually set the timer for 29, but this time I didn't. And <sighs> Anyhow, the updates in regards to Felix will follow. I will let you know if there is a significant change to situation. I mean, whatever change happens, I will let you know. I am really, really hoping that this treatment will help with his situation and that will enable that he will spend at least a year or two more with us. That is something that I'm really, really hoping for. Yeah, this would be everything for this video. I hope, well, I don't hope that you enjoyed the video, but I hope that you are hopeful for Felix. If you are, make sure to comment something and thumbs the video up. Uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, so see you again in a week. Bye!